Morning team, welcome to the video. If I didn't major in accounting, I would have majored in psychology. And one of the reasons I didn't was because I took a, an intro psych class that was huge, 500 person class, didn't really like the professor, probably got a bad taste of it, which is dumb to let that impact you. But um, it's so like a, a solid understanding of human psychology is so beneficial for coaching. For example, I'm replying to emails right now, which is why I wanted to start this vlog and talk about this. When you, like the way you say things and the word choices you use have such a powerful impact on people. Like in, in the gym example that I've done many times is a fairly beginnerish woman who doesn't really know what she can do in their strength training wise, but is apprehensive and unsure of herself. I'll increase her weight week over week knowing she can do it. But like when, when she questions it, like, can I do this? Like, yeah, you did it last week. Like same weight, same reps, let's go. It's like, oh, okay. And then she just bangs it out. And then after it's like, hey, by the way. <laughs> and sometimes I don't even tell them because I wanna to continue to have that trick in the bag for the future. But here, I'm making a nutrition adjustment for a client who's new and like first time tracking macros and hit a little bit of a plateau. And, uh, and it's like a normal good size drop in calories. And I'm like, we're just making a very, very slight tweak in your nutrition, no big deal, start following these. Because if, if in their head, they're like, oh man, calories are coming way down, like I'm gonna be really hungry. Or if it's like, oh, this is just a very slight minor tweak, like I shouldn't really feel the difference. There's just so much up here. And if you can impact that and like make their life easier, they're gonna see better results. It's just, it's net good. I would've majored in psych. Taking a little work break, first meal of the day. It's almost three um, on rest days. Just sometimes it just feels good to push that first meal back a ways, especially if there's a little more caffeine than normal. Uh, gonna get a little salmon salad, those micros, those omega threes, those greens. Then we're gonna go back and get it. There it is. Little carbs. All right, salad was on point. I just got this, which has like beet, banana, pineapple, avocado. It's really a micro day, even though I don't like doing like. That personal finance game, trying to keep it dialed. But sometimes, for the micros, it's 2017. Anyway, I'm not gonna make another long, dramatic video like I have before, but uh, just for like a little micro follow-up in case you're curious, you can hit the pause button here and see what's up. Um, headed back to my apartment now, and uh, I'm gonna work. Just do a bunch of work. Tis 6.40. 3 in the p.m. I've been grinding for a few hours, got a little bit more work to do. We're gonna wrap up the vlog here. I want to talk about something that every human being on earth screws up, including myself. Um, when you forfeit the need to take credit, when you can actually suppress your ego and like not have to be right and behave from that point of view, it is so much easier to win. It is so much easier to let other people, and, and I'm the worst at it, but, but I know it's true because I know the like one out of a million times when I don't do it, things go better. Um, but yeah, just like think about it in your life. Think about it in your daily interactions with other people. Think, it about, think about it in with work or like giving a coworker credit or giving a boss credit. Um, I get there's like office politics and things, but in general, when you can let other people feel like they're right, you're gonna win in a huge way. I'm gonna start, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do this. Let me know what you think. Every so often with vlogs, I might drop a little thumbnail or a picture of the book that I'm either reading or listening to because I feel like my ideas and the stuff I talk about is so predicated on, like I'm re-listening to How to Win Friends and Influence People and so I feel like where my head is at is there and the Mark Manson book and just, let me know if that would interest you. That's it. We'll see you tomorrow, creepy old people. Oh, please like the video too. And please just like every single video because I hate saying please like the video. It feels very needy, but again, I'm not asking for anything. I'm not selling anything. Just help me share my content. And for YouTube, comments and likes, as well as if you want to share it, um, are the way to do that best. So thank you. See you tomorrow.